All right, guys, 2018, about to be 2019, the newest, hottest bone tactical tomahawks uh, out of a long line of a progression of tomahawks that we've been making since the very first one went with U.S. Special Forces over to Iraq. Now we're really just making a much finer, uh, nicer, just high-end luxury product here. I'm going to show you guys some testing and destruction, okay? This is by far the most requested video I've had. Everybody's like, your hawks are beautiful. I get it. Your hawks are awesome. I love them. I like the way they look. They look cool. They look super functional. But I want to see them chopping stuff up. So I'm going to get you guys the video you wanted to see. I'm going to talk about these in particular so you can see up close and personal what's shipping right now, what we have right now in stock, and what I'm doing with tomahawks right now. And then I'm going to go right at this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to go right into actually just chopping some stuff, okay? So be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. This is the Modern Warrior Edition, okay? There's two options available, Ancient Warrior and Modern Warrior, like everything I make, and they also um, are available in a leather sheath and in a Kydex sheath, okay? So this one here, as you guys can see, is just BA, just very, very awesome tomahawk. Okay, choked up grip here. All right, you guys probably have seen, but I'll give you the brief rundown on this. All right, so when it's in the sheath, choked up grip here, less lethal option, you can be in here, okay, be in here, doing like this, all right, comes out of the sheath, now it's a lethal option, you got rear striking point, you got pommel strikes here, you got regular strikes here, still can strike here, lots of different options, you've got wrench sizes in here, pry bar, and a nail puller, or could be even used as a wire cutter, potentially, depending on what type of wire, and lots and lots and lots you could do with this. The sheath itself, multiple carry options. These are all three quarter on center. You can put on belt loops, you can carry it on your belt. I've even attached mine to a shoulder holster. You can attach it to a plate carrier. You can attach it to a backpack. You can attach it to anything. You can run paracord and a buckle through here if you want it to be extra tight and have a double retention system. You can put that on there. I can put it on there for you if you want to order one like that, okay? They're, all, they're also shipping an exotic hardwood an exotic hardwood finish here, all right? The ancient warrior pattern, exotic hardwood, brass pins, and a, um, and a, what we call the tiger stripe acid etching with a clear coat over there, protective clear coat. So now, let's get right into some destruction testing. Time to get serious. A little bit of tomahawk testing today. The most requested video that I've had Really, since I started making videos, is this tomahawk testing video, okay guys? So here it is. We've got jeans material and a, and a ham shoulder, okay? A pork shoulder. What this is doing is this is really uh, replicating the closest that you could possibly replicate to a real world scenario or any what you would consider to be a, uh, a flesh scenario or being able to do any kind of actual weapons testing. All right, the closest you can get right here. And uh, just gonna do a couple strikes and see what it does. All right, first strike, you could hear it hit the bone. Penetrated all the way. I mean, that's four inches right there, easy penetration. And uh, that's through gene material and four inches all the way to the bone of the shoulder. So. I'll try the rear strike and see what, rear spike and see what the rear spike will do. All right. Also, full penetration. Now I'm just gonna go a little, get some strikes going down on it, and kind of just see what they do. Bone, bone, bone. All right. All the way through there. Oh yeah, every one is going, look at this. This actually went all the way through the ham hock. Completely through the ham hock and through both sides of the jeans. I don't know if you can see that. The point sticking out right here. All the way through the ham hock, both sides of the jeans. All right. You can see the condition of this ham hock, it's just demolished. Just completely demolished. 
every one of these strikes is going in three, four inches. All right, that's some of the best penetration I've ever seen and the best penetration I've ever seen from a tomahawk for sure. It's penetrating deeper than the actual length of the blade, which is something you don't see on tomahawks hardly ever. All right, actually, it cut the bone. That's all bone mass right there. Those strikes I told you that I heard hitting bone, they were chopping through the bone. Here's a bone fragment, all right? Slicing through bone like butter. That's bone, okay? That's the other side of the bone. That's all bone fragments. So really, about what you guys wanted to see and uh, doesn't get any more effective than that. Come up here and give you a little better close up. This is all, all bone fragment. That's all bone. It's been destroyed. Bone sliced through here, bone sliced through there, bone sliced through there. Every time I was hitting it, it was slicing even through the bone, which is heavier, extremely heavy, very heavy bone. Questions, comments, let me know what you guys want to see more of. You can see the condition of this ham hock. It's just demolished. Just completely demolished. All right, that's some of the best penetration I've ever seen and the best penetration I've ever seen from a tomahawk for sure. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about the Bone Tactical Tomahawk today. This is the newest version in stock and shipping as you guys saw earlier. Um, I'm gonna give you some real quick martial arts pointers. All right, you already saw that it that it chopped right through organic medium. You saw that it really just ripped right through that. That's what this is actually made for. It's a weapon. The face here is for soft tissue. I mean, it just devastates it. The rear spike here is for puncturing hard objects. I'll also get into some of that in the future. I don't think I'm gonna get to it on this video, but there's this big thing. Um, apparently, there's like some sort of a national competition of guys uh, basically fat guys chopping two by fours with knives not what this is designed for but I'm gonna show you that it you know it's a completely uh, very usable uh, tool so a couple quick real quick rundown of the martial arts again while the sheath is on here it can be used as a less less lethal tool so you're not gonna kill somebody if you hit them with it it can be used in super close quarters here okay punching 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 can be used either either way here, jab, jab. Normally you're gonna wanna have your tomahawk in your front hand if you're going weapon versus weapon, so you can parry edged weapon versus edged weapon. If it's not edged weapon versus edged weapon, if it's edged weapon versus a firearm, you wanna try and control that firearm and then slice, maybe take that hand off, get the firearm away from the person, or uh, if, you're, if you're going weapon versus non-weapon, Okay, it can be in that backhand, so you create an opening, create an opening, and then strike where you have that opening, okay? Opening, 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 strike, okay? So, that's the option there. Um, there's long distance strikes you can do with this thing. You can come here and back strike with the, with the back blade, just spin it around this way and strike with it. All right, lots of strikes you can use. And again, either hand, you can use it front hand or rear hand. We won't, I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of the martial arts stuff. There is other martial arts discussions for tomahawk use on my channel and some more in-depth stuff. Right now I'm just going to show you what this can do chopping. Like I said, I've never done this before. Don't really know what I'm doing. It's so anything is not really me. I'm not any kind of an expert chopper. It's just going to all be tomahawk right here, okay? Not too bad right there. I don't really, I didn't count strikes, but did a pretty good job slicing through that. Two by four, not really sure exactly what the, the other tomahawks may do, but what I will show you here is that we, we've got the blade here. Actually, absolutely no 
signs of damage. All right. Zero signs of damage. It's still extremely sharp. In fact, I can still shave with it, okay? I'm going to show you guys here. I'm shaving with it after chopping through a two by four. All right. I'm sure you guys can see the hair on there. So yes, I had a meeting with Gerber at SHOT Show one year and they just have absolutely no idea what they're doing. And, and it's crazy because at one point in time, Gerber made some really awesome stuff. And um, at this point they're making just, they're going way downhill. I don't know what happened. I, I never met the guys that were running Gerber when this stuff was awesome. So I can't say why it's crap now, but the, the quality of their stuff has gone way down. The heat treat, the metal just isn't properly heat treated. It doesn't hold up well. They're, they're cutting a lot of corners with production. And when I talked to these guys about tomahawks, they told me, oh, the new t this is the new tomahawk we're coming out with, which has been out for a while now. But the blade doesn't come all the way to a point. We're not going to make it sharp because if we make it sharp, it'll, it'll, it'll break when you're chopping through stuff. If it's properly heat treated, it won't break, guys. I just chopped through organic mediums and through a two by four with this and then shaved with it, okay? If you know what you're doing, if you do it right, take your time and do it right, it'll be good. And, and a lot of, I've had other people ask me, why is your tomahawk 300 and something dollars? Look guys, I'm trying to get the price down, but that's why. There's no other tomahawk that you can do this with. There's no other tomahawk that is this well designed and ergonomic, choke up grip, long distance grip, uh, strikes here, nail puller, um, this ridge section in there is for pulls, okay? I can grab your wrist, pull your elbow open, chop on the, on the way down as I'm pulling you through, spin around and finish off with a tail strike. There's so much you can do with just a really well-designed tomahawk. There's just nothing that compares to it, guys. So um, I'm gonna try and show you. It's difficult to get into a YouTube video, especially for somebody like me who went from, you know, a life of doing and and before I was on YouTube and before the government uh, put my information out there and started a defamation campaign against me and uh, uh, false information, fake news, and the cover up of my, of my incarcer illegal incarceration in Germany, before all of that, and years ago, guys, I, I didn't even have my, my face wasn't even out there. I was under the radar and then they just released everything, detailed reports of all of my information. And, and uh, so now I'm, I'm fighting back with spreading the truth, sharing the truth. And um, I really appreciate your support. I'm gonna log off here and if you, but if you wanna see something different in the future, if you wanna see something more, let me know what you wanna see. All right, comment below. I really appreciate the support I've got from you guys and I'm trying to do everything I can to share what you guys wanna see. So let me know and uh, bone out. Not too bad right there.